Hi, my name is Lourdes Gonzalez, and I will be introducing reinventing project-based learning. Chapter three: What is the most what is most important? Identifying the biggest ideas, the core concepts, and the pr processes is the first step of project planning. What is the big idea? After reflecting on ideas as a teacher, we must know and ask why this idea is important and what it will teach my students. Um, creating a wiki will help these assignments. A wiki is a website that lets users express their own ideas by adding, editing, and commenting online from any source of internet from a tablet to laptop. It is helpful for a group project or when working alone and can be a useful tool for organization of ideas and concepts for any given project. This site is free and can be found on wikispaces.com. Planning for digital age skills. A well-designed project causes students to stretch their intellectual muscles in ways that traditional learning activities may not. A project should help students develop important skills, attitudes, and habitats of mind. The Bloom categories of objectives. Remember to understand, apply, analyze, evaluate, and create. The last three are most important for project-based learning. Keep your students in mind. For every project a student must remember, a teacher must remember about their students, meaning what would spark your students' curiosity and make them feel that what they are learning is interesting and important. Projects with passion help connect with the social and emotional aspects of the learning experience. Essential learning functions. Research is deep learning with experts, original works, and raw data. Makes, make ideas visible, express ideas creatively. Allow students to talk about it and meaning, to learn more about the meaning behind what they're researching, or just to teach them overall what they are going to accomplish off this project. Collaboration, to help students and teachers to learn together and work together as a team. Project management, Help students bring consistency to their projects with tools that support good project management, reflection and iteration to encourage reflection and cycles of improvement, and support study or enrichment using open educational resources. Help students learn through sh shared textbooks, courses, curriculums, etc. Chapter 4 Reviewing Projects. If you ultimately decide to design your own project, it helps review other plans first. When reviewing as a group, you can sense the group's interest as a whole and individually. To really engage learners, you, you have to set up a situation in which they want to ask questions, what to learn more about, need to know something they don't already know, and believe it is important for them and the community. The best projects share important features. They are often loosely designed with the possibility of different learning pairs, are generative, causing students to construct meaning, Capture students' interests through complex and compelling real life or stimulated experiences, are realistic and therefore cross multiple disciplines, and reach beyond schools to involve others. There are obviously more important features, these are just some that I captured and I found most interesting to me. For chapter 5 is project based learning, which is personalized learning. learning. Assessments are used to support students not just after they learn but as they learn. Planning helps determine the objectives, of pro the objectives of the project, what the students will learn through the project. Can help determine what activities will encourage learning and what evidence demonstrates that the students have learned from completing this project. Selecting project ass assignments and performance tasks. Integrate knowledge and skills across multiple standards or strands within the area. Reflect a World War task that requires students to accomplish complex goals. Represent content that is relevant and meaningful to the students. This way the students find it more at heart and are more passionate about what they are learning about. Measure capacities such as depth of understanding and identification of evidence. Allow for multiple points of views and interpretations. And then in the end, I'll require scoring that focuses on the essence of the tasks, such as the rubric, whether your school provides it or you have to build your own. Project timeline. Set milestones, assign milestones or check-ins and mark phases of activity. Milestones indicates opportunities to check, correct, redirect, or reteach and shape learning. 
Select a reasonable end date for the project and start filling in. This way, the, the students will procrastinate and wait till the end and can work on the project throughout the whole due date and know what to fix throughout their learning experiences. And this is my reference. And that was my summary for chapters 3, 4, and 5.